Self practice 7.5 questions number 1. In a diagram on the right, radius AB of the Ferris wheel is perpendicular to the tangent of the circle at point B at 12. The equations of the tangent to the circle at point B is given as 3x plus 2y equal to 48. Finds the equations of radius AB of the Ferris wheel. So first, we're going to convert the equations of the tangent of the circle into the gradient form. So first, move the 3x to the right-hand side. So 2y is equal to negative 3x plus 48. Then move the 2 to the right-hand side. So y is equal to negative 3 over 2x plus 48 divided by 2 is equal to 24. So here, the negative 3 over 2 it will be the gradient of the tangents of the circle. As the radius AB is perpendicular to the tangent, then when we multiply the two gradients together, it will give us the answer of negative 1. So the gradient AB is equal to negative 1 divided by negative 3 over 2, which is the same as negative 1 times negative 2 over 3. So the answer is positive 2 over 3. To find the equations of the radius AB, we're going to use y minus y1 equal to m bracket x minus x1. So here the y1 and the x1 will be the coordinates of any point that is lines on the straight lines AB. In these questions, we're going to use the point B as our x1, y1. So y minus 12 is equal to the gradient AB. 2 over 3 times x minus 8. So y is equal to, so expand this, you will get 2 over 3x minus 16 over 3. And move the negative 12 to the right hand side, it will be plus 12. So y is equal to 2 over 3x plus 20 over 3. So this will be the equations of the radius AB in gradient form. Questions number two. The diagram on the right shows the plans of the rectangular shape huts drawn on a Cartesian plan. A pipe of the shortest length will be connected from the main pipe at P at 7 to the hut. Finds A, the coordinates of the points of connections of the pipes at the hut. So the shortest distance has to be a straight line from the point P, which is perpendicular to the straight line AB. Now, from the diagram, it seems like the connection points, let's say we label it as Q, it looks like just like the midpoints of the straight lines AB. But to confirm, the point Q is the midpoint of AB. So this is what I'm going to do. So first, I'm going to find the length of AP. So using this formula, the length of AP will be at minus 3 square plus 7 minus at square. So here we're going to get square root 25 plus negative 1 square will get positive 1. So the length of AP is equal to the square root of 26. Next, I got to find the length of PB. Using the same formula, it will be square root of at minus 7 square plus 7 minus 2 square. So here we'll get square root of 1 plus 5 square is 25. So the answer for the distance PB is also equal to the square root of 26, which means the triangle APB is an isosceles triangle. As PQ here is just like the heights of the isosceles triangle. Therefore, the length AQ is equal to the length of QB. So Q will be the midpoint of AB. So the ratio AQ to QB is equal to 1, 1. So to find the coordinate Q, first find the X coordinate. It will be 1 times 7, which is 7, plus 1 times 3, which is 3, then divide by the total ratio, which is 2. Followed by the Y coordinate, 1 times 2, which is 2, plus 1 times 8, which is 8, divided by 
2. So here we're going to get 10 over 2 and 10 over 2. Simplify it, the coordinate k will be 5, 5. Questions B. Finds the length of trench that should be dug in order to bury the pipes to the hut. So the length here is referred to the length of the straight line, PQ. So refer to this formula to find the distance. So it will be square root of at minus 5 square plus 7 minus 5 square. So here we'll get square root of, so at minus 5 is 3, 3 square is equal to 9, and 7 minus 5 is 2, 2 square is 4. So it is equal to square root of 13. So it is equal to 3.606 units.